Scotch if you've got it. That's quite a waste of expensive booze there, though I hear it's good for the carpet. What the hell do you think you're doing? I told you I was coming. Didn't you expect me? Well, I didn't think you'd be fool enough to do it. Coming back to Springfield, you must be a madman. Oh, I don't think so. I want you out of here. Oh, do you mind if I make myself at home? How'd you get in? Oh, that reminds me. I broke a window coming in here, so this should cover it. What are you doing here? Well, I'll just leave it here for you. As I said, I am making myself at home. Since I intend to make this marvelous place my home for the next week or so. Well, Mike, how's it going? <sighs> Better than I thought. That sounds good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had, to, I had to wait for the DA's uh, report, but I got that now, and I just finished writing a resume on the psychiatrist's report. So the court is going to accept what Holly said under hypnosis? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. Plenty of precedent for that. What are you worried about? <laughs> not, don't worry about it. I'm going to get it to Judge Kilgore tomorrow, and then I think we got a chance. Just a chance? A ah, good chance, I think. I think at the very least we're going to get a new trial. In other words, there's a possibility that Holly might be released from prison. Yeah, I don't want to get your hopes up, or hers either, for that matter. I know, I know. You're being cautious. At the very least, we're going to get to reduce sentence. Oh. You don't know how good that sounds to me right now, Mike. Can you imagine the look on Barbara's face when I tell her? Mike, it's all right to tell Barbara, isn't it? Madam? Oh, yeah, sure. In fact, I was going to do it myself. Oh, that's great. Hmm. What? I was just thinking. This is going to make a, a big difference to Rita, too. It's going to take a big weight off her mind. Mike, is it all right if I call her and tell her? Now, uh, remember, just be cautiously optimistic, okay? Look, Mike, the way Rita's been feeling ever since Holly went to prison, I think any glimmer of hope at all is going to make a big difference to her. I really do want her to know. because I was feeling guilty. Guilty? Why? Because I didn't help you at your new office today. Oh, Grandma, don't be silly. I know you're busy. You've got all that work over at Cedars. Oh, it doesn't seem like work to help you while fixing up your new office, do you? Well, it does take a lot of time. Yeah, but it's fun to start out with bare walls and then to see what can be done to make it all look attractive. Yes. Of course, that's your job. Hope? Oh, I'm sorry, Grandma. I, I just can't seem to keep my mind on anything today. You know, you look a little tired. Maybe you've just been pushing too hard. Oh, no, that isn't it. But there's no rush on the office, is there? No, uh, I, uh, I just haven't been sleeping well lately. No, that isn't it either. Grandma, I have... 
have something I'd like to show you. Oh? Well, all right. Oh. Oh, it's beautiful. Alan Spaulding gave it to you. Cedars this morning. <laughs> Did I uh, tell you I'm leaving town? No. Yeah, tomorrow. Mm. Oh, Jackie, I'm going to eat all of these. Oh, that's okay. I have more in the kitchen. Where are you going? Denver. Oh. There's a uh, conservation convention there. Max wants me to cover it for the paper. Pictures? You're taking pictures? Yeah. Thought I might freelance in the mountains as long as I'm there. That sounds nice. <laughs> So, Mike's your first dinner guest in your new home. Yes. He was very happy when I saw him this morning. He was? Yeah. Oh, about Holly's case. Oh, you know, he's very cautious about predicting things that happen like that, and I think he's pretty sure about this one. I've seen your place. It's lovely. Thank you. And I, uh, I guess I should go. Oh, oh, Philip, when he came over here this morning, he had a sweater. When he came home, he didn't have it with him. Oh, okay. Well, um, I'll go look in the bedroom. Maybe you can... Okay. Be right back.
Yes. Thank you. Mm. Well, you sure you can't stay for a drink? No. Have a good time tonight. I will. I'll see you when I get back. Have a good trip. Thank you. Bye-bye. I had a little trouble reaching you. Your line's been busy. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I was doing some work for my church group. Uh, Bye, how's Rita? Why, she's, uh... Well, she's fine. Uh, she's right here. No, Mama. I'd like to talk to her, please. Uh, hang on a minute, Ed. Honey, he wants to Mommy, talk... Mommy, you know I don't want to talk to him. Rita, you've got to... Don't and I won't. Viola. Uh, yes, sir. We 
Would you please tell Rita that I have something important to tell her? Yes, yes, hang on. Rita, Ed has something important to tell you. Honey, you can't treat Ed like this. It's just not right. Anywhere. I think we should just not talk anymore. Oh, I don't agree. Well, it's just going to make things worse. Rita. And I'm going to hang up now. R will you listen to me? I said I had something important to tell you. It's about Holly. Oh, Ed, I don't want to hear about Holly. She may get out of prison. What? Mike took a psychiatrist up to the prison the other day, and they put her under hypnosis. You were there, you heard it? She said that? Well, that means she was really confused at the time of the shooting. Oh, Ed, that would be so good if Mike could get her out of that place. I mean, at least now there's a chance to... Well, anyway, um, thank you for letting me know. Is there anything else you want to talk to me about? Anything else? Rita, don't you understand? This could change everything. No, Ed. If Holly gets out of prison? I hope she does, Ed, but it's not going to change anything between you and me. Look, Ed, I just wish that you wouldn't call me anymore. I'm sorry. Bye-bye. Oh, Rita. Oh, please, Mama. Damn it! What is it, Ed? What is it with her? What does she want from me, anyway? You talk to her. She's driving me crazy, Mike. I don't understand her anymore. It's lovely, isn't it? it? Certainly must have been very expensive. Why are you showing it to me? When you came, I, I put it away. I, I don't know why, but all of a sudden I felt as if I should hide it. Is it something very special to you? I mean, I, I think so. Hope if I can help, just tell me. Oh, Grandma, you know I can always talk to you. It's just that this is so... Look, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. Oh, I've, I've got to talk about it to somebody. Well, if there's a problem, I'm here. Grandma. Alan's asked me to marry him. He has? He wants me to marry him as soon as his divorce is final. He doesn't think there's going to be any problems because he and Jackie both want it. Well, what, what, what did you say to him? Well, I... I didn't say that I, I would marry him. But then I didn't say I wouldn't either. Well, I must say I never expected anything like this. Neither did I. But do you have any idea what you're going to do, dear? No, I've been going over and over it in my head. I don't doubt that. One thing I do know, though, whatever happens, I I'm, I'm not going to keep it a secret. I won't run away or elope. And I, I will tell Dad about it, but not just yet. Well, if you don't know yet what you're going to do, then I suppose it's right not to tell anybody about it now. You won't tell Dad, will you? Not if you don't want me to. Oh, I could only be sure. One way or the other. Alan's so different lately. 
Then you do have doubts. Yes. He came over last night, j just for the evening. And I could see he had something just terrible on his mind, but he wouldn't tell me what it was. If he, if he wants to marry me, you'd think... I don't know what to say to you, dear. You've been going through all this, and on top of it, you're trying to start a new business. You must be so bewildered. I guess that's one word for it. It's just that I can't sort out my feelings for him. Alan's so... He's just the most incredible man I've ever met. Damn it, Mike. She won't even talk to me on the phone anymore. I just don't understand her. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to do something. But damn it! You'd like a little uh, advice from your older brother. Don't do anything until you know exactly what you want. I know what I want, Mike. You do? How do you feel about it? I'm not angry with her, Mike. I'm just damn angry at this ridiculous situation we're in. You're not mad at me. Mike, I love her as much right now as I ever have. These last few weeks have been terrible. I, uh, I miss her so much, it's driving me crazy. You want her back? Yes, I want her back. In spite of what she told you. You know, that really doesn't matter to me. I just want her back home. Made some changes in the last part. I'm afraid they're going to have to be retyped. Okay. And the first thing in the morning, get to Judge uh, Kilgore and a copy to the DA's office. <sighs> Doesn't look too bad. I think I can have it there in the morning when they open. Great. That's it. All done. At last, huh? <sighs> Mike, I, I can't believe the work that you've done and how fast you've done it. I didn't want Holly to spend another minute in jail. Oh. I could help it. It's so wonderful. I can't imagine how she's feeling. I appreciate all the work you've done on this, too, Anne. Thank you. It's my job. Well, it's not really your job to spend uh, these kind of Hello? hours here. Is anybody around? Bird, we're in here. Oh, hi, hi, Mom. Anne. What hi. are you doing here? Is that any way to <laughs> talk to your mother? Hi, Mom. What are you doing here? Yeah. Is that the way he talks to his clients? I, I think he would, but I, I don't let him. Well, that's good for yeah. you. I'm glad to hear it. Actually, your timing is perfect. We just finished. Just finished? That's right. Is that what he said? That's what he said. Hey, that's what he said. <laughs> Sit down. Oh, thank you. <laughs> He's a slave driver, you know. Absolutely a slave driver. That's what you are. Huh? Me? You. And she's the one. She's the one. She's the one. She made me stay here. I told her to go home hours ago. Uh, go on home. Mike, I, I can finish. No, no. No, you better go home or she's going to report me to the labor department. I would, I would do that. <laughs> All, right. All right. If that's the case, I'll go home. <laughs> Mike, uh, sleep in in the morning, okay? We'll try. Oh. Good night. Good night. Good night, Bert. Good night, dear. She's a wonderful girl. Yes, yeah, she is. Well, I just stopped on my way home. I just saw Hope. 
Oh. I haven't seen her for a while. How's she doing with her decorating job? Well, she's doing just fine. I, I, I really think that things are going to work out very well. Good. She's working very hard right now on, on a big job for a company that's just moved into the Spalding Industrial Center. Yeah, the Morrison Company. Yeah, yeah, that's the name. Well, what is it? Why are you looking like that? Like what? Michael, I know the way you look when you don't like something. What have you got against the Morrison Company? Alan Spaulding. I think he used his um, influence to get her that job. Oh, really? Well, she, she didn't say anything. She doesn't know anything about it. Well, I, I think that's probably all right. She's going to do a wonderful job for them. And a lot of people get jobs through connections. Yes, but I don't like this connection. And don't tell her, okay? No, no, of course not, dear. Actually, I feel a little bit better about her involvement with Alan now than I did. I mean, you she... Do? Yeah, well, she's... She's a bright girl. She's got her head on straight. She's going to see through him sooner or later. In fact, I think she's seeing less and less of him now, isn't she? Oh. Well, isn't she? I mean, you talk to her. Well, Michael, I really can't say. You don't have any idea? Did she say anything to you? Darling, I can't speak for hope. All I want for her is to be happy. Whatever that takes. Ah, she's a nice looking girl. You know, she might have seen you. She didn't. You know, it's, it's dangerous for you to stay here. People come by. I never know whom to expect. You know, you really ought to give poor Diane a break, Alan. Tell her she doesn't stand a chance with you. Did you hear what I said? Yes, yes. And I have a housekeeper. I'm not worried, Alan. I know you'll work it all out. medical school. Well, you trying to tell me that all you did was 20 hours of working and studying and then four hours of sleep? Yeah, that's right. And the worst part of it was, I almost couldn't break the habit. You still get four hours sleep? No, now I'm a little bit more civilized. Uh, sometimes I get six hours. But it took me almost two years to get that far. <laughs> you really do have problems. <laughs> yeah, I would say that. I sure do have a problem. Hey, what are you talking will you about? Pay attention to me. <laughs> I am. I'm trying to tell you something. What? Have I ever told you how beautiful you are? Craig, you know as well as I do that Rita's just the beautiful one in our family. Oh. Why are you always comparing yourself to Rita? You you always get Rita on your mind. Well, I guess we do have her on my mind lately. No. Yeah, I know. I bet there's one thing you don't know, though. She was going to have an abortion. Really? Wait, wh what do you mean, was? Oh, well, Mama called me today, and she said that Rita decided not to go ahead with it. But she... I mean, she... <laughs> Well, it, it made sense. Uh, you know, she and Ed being I don't separated. I know what makes sense. Do you know what made her change her mind? Not really, but... I mean, don't you think, too, that she'll be a lot happier having this baby? I know she will be. Yeah. Listen, there's enough talk about Rita, okay? okay. I'm just looking at you now. And I want to tell you, you are the loveliest thing I have seen in a long time. 
Well, I don't want to talk about me either, okay? Okay, so I'll do it. You know, you have... <laughs> I don't know. You're not the kid I knew in high school. No, really. You've grown up into uh, a very beautiful woman. Well, I've grown up. I haven't exactly been in the monastery either. I realize that. I know. If you look, I know you've had some problems in the past two years. You don't deserve those breaks you've had either. They just happen. Yeah. Well, they're not going to happen from now on. Oh. At least not the bad ones. Are you a fortune teller yeah, now? <laughs> that's it. I'm making predictions. From now on, I predict things are going to be pretty good for you. I do have to go to work early tomorrow, so I better go. I have to get there early. Who doesn't? good so far. Well, it is good. Okay. That's a nice looking outfit. Would you like it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Hey. Hey, I like this. Isn't it nice? Yes. Really. Try the couch. It's really, really comfortable, I think. Gee, this is beautiful stuff. Mm -hmm. I love it. You must be tired. You've oh. been working all day. <laughs> Oh, thank you, I will. Yeah, but it was worth it. Well, do you have to be at work tomorrow morning at 5 o'clock a.m.? No, no, no. As a matter of fact, I've done all I can do. It's just a matter of turning everything over to Judge Kilgore. And probably take about a week. Well, that's good. Well, that way you can just um, relax and unwind and have a drink. I'm relaxed already. <laughs> And then after we relax, we can have a leisurely dinner. With the candles and the champagne and now all? Now, don't tease me. Yes, there are candles. Now, uh, champagne? No, I have some dry white wine on, on ice for the seafood, but now if you want oh, champagne, I can no, certainly just, go get I'm champagne. Just I'm just I know. I'm glad you came. And I'm glad you don't have to rush off. We can just forget about the time. Up to a point. No, not up to a point. We are going to forget about the time. Hmm. I suppose you've thought this all through. Absolutely. I had it all figured out before I got on the plane in Paris. Well, since you're asking me to put my reputation, my life, on the line, do you mind letting me in on it? I've just been waiting for the chance, Alan. First of all, I will need roughly $3,000. <laughs> you don't think I keep that kind of money in the house, do you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I do think that. You check in that drawer that you keep very carefully locked. Push me far enough. And I'll take the consequences as long as you get yours. All right, go ahead. Look, Alan, I'm telling you, if you'll just go along with me, I have a very good plan, and I will be out of your hair forever. You don't expect me to believe that. All right, I don't really care if you believe it or not. You have a pair of binoculars around here? Yes. Upstairs in Philip's room. Good. 
Then that's where I'll be, in Philip's room. I assume that you can see the Bauer place from his room. What? Well, I have to check their comings and goings, you know. Ed's work hours, when the housekeeper goes to shopping, and that sort of thing. Spy. Exactly. So I suggest that you give your housekeeper the week off and send your little gardener on vacation. I'll do no such thing. Oh, yes, you will. You have to. One more glass of wine, and then I'll start the sauce for the seafood. And then what? I'll start the sauce for oh, the seafood. Oh, yeah, that's right. You're doing the honors of the cooking tonight, aren't you? Yep, and you're just going to have to put up with it. I could put up with anything. No. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I just think they have a lawyer's conference in uh, Aspen that I should go to. Oh, that's too bad. When is it? Well, it starts over the weekend. I'd have to leave tomorrow. Hmm. Well, since I've been to Aspen this time of year before, I know that conferences usually spend most of their time on skis. <laughs> <laughs> Might get a little chance to get in on <laughs> Good. Why are you going, though? I mean, if you really want to relax and everything, you could do it here. Well, there's some things that I have to come to terms with. Okay. As long as you're coming back. <laughs> Don't worry about that. <laughs> You didn't shave. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't have time. I'm sorry. That's okay. I love your bristles anyway. You know, you, you're crazy. I never know what you're going to say. Do you mind that? No. <laughs> no, that's uh, kind of exciting about you. It makes you fun to be with. Yeah, well, I think I used to be a lot more fun than I am now. I think you've changed. Hmm. I sure have changed. I think for the better. I think so, too. And now for the highlight of the evening. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's that? Mm. Dinner. <laughs> oh. If I don't burn it. Of course, it's up to the judge now. You actually believe that it can happen? Yes, it's possible, Barbara. I don't believe it. Well, Barbara, you should see how hard Mike's been working on this. I know. He's never given up. He always said that he would work so that sooner or later Holly would get out. I mean, no, Ed. He's actually going to come home. There's a good chance, Barbara. A very good chance. Oh, come on now. Why all the tears? I thought it was good news. Oh, it is. <laughs> Wait till I tell Christina. Well, Barbara, maybe, maybe we'd better wait until uh, we can be sure. Yes, of course, you're right. Uh, by the way, Barbara, do you think you could watch Christina for me for a couple of days? Well, yes, of course I will. I want to drive down to Bluefield tomorrow to see Rita. See if I can get her to come home with me. After everything she's done, after she walked out on you and Christina... After Barbara, she I don't want to hear you? it. Well, I'm only saying what everybody else is saying. I don't care what anybody else is saying. I still love Rita very much, Barbara. And I'm going to do everything I can 
to try to work things out with her. Barbara, come on. There's a chance that Holly will get out of prison. She's going to marry Peter. They're going to have a good life together. Why can't we just be happy about the good things? Rita, I'm going to fix myself a cup of tea. Oh, Would you like one? No, thank you, Mama. I get so sleepy these days. I think I'll just go on up to bed. Oh. Um, Mama. Yes, dear. I've been thinking. Uh, Ed has been calling almost every day. I, I wonder if you could answer the phone from now on. I really don't want to talk to him anymore. Rita, don't you think that... Well, all right. Whatever you say. Thanks, Mama. Honey, I know you're not sure, but don't you think it's likely that the baby's Ed's I don't know, Mama. I know, but don't you have a, a feeling about it? The only feeling I have is that I hope with all my heart it's Ed's. This has been The Guiding Light. Fashions provided by Lily Rubin Salon, South Southwest, Stephen Burroughs for Cop Ferrat and Barney's.